Been playing more games? Lots of people have, so why not add some comfort? Future Seating is our text to nation, and joining us is the founder and CEO, Tony Meslish. Thanks for joining us, Tony. Hi, Fred. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're best known, I guess, thus far, I suppose, for the X chair. No doubt about that. A lot of people have heard of that. And now you've got something new. Yeah, so we um, we launched a gaming chair brand back in November of last year. We're coming up on our first anniversary, 11-11 um, um, of this year. And the brand is Mavix Gaming. And Mavix Gaming began with a series of three chairs. Uh, we have since added a fourth model and have other products from desks to gaming mats to other accessories in the works, uh, but started out as a, as a gaming chair company producing chairs that are both more comfortable and more ergonomic and better quality and more supportive. That's a, that's a great thing. Now, a lot of people are spending more time gaming. So let's talk about the need for a product like this. I, I think initially a lot of people, when they went out and started looking for gaming chairs, serious gamers, it was because they looked cool, I guess was one, one way to put it. Yeah, you know, the traditional um, gaming chair kind of looks like a racing car seat. And... Um, those chairs have been made from, by a variety of companies for about 15 years and really became the standard for gamers. However, most of them really either were not particularly well designed from an ergonomics or comfort standpoint or not high quality. There are exceptions to that within that gaming chair ethos. Um, and so I think you stated it well. There are serious gamers spend a lot of time in their chair. And you know, if you're 15 years old, you may not notice the damage you're doing to your body. But once you get to be 25, it starts to it starts to click in, and people start to realize, well, if I'm here for five, six, seven hours at a shot, I need to be supported. I need to be comfortable, and it also impacts your productivity. Right? If your body is is getting tired, you're not going to play quite as well. So. We set out to design a chair. We obviously have this background from our other businesses in ergonomics and high quality seating. And so we set out to design a chair that took a little bit of a different tack, doesn't look like the typical gaming chair, still has a very modern technical futuristic look, uh, but is a very different approach to the marketplace. And you know, it's not for everyone, but our chairs are not inexpensive. They're high quality and they last. Um, However, having said that, we just recently introduced a new model, the M4, which comes in at uh, promo at three ninety nine right now, so it's a little bit more affordable for people, but still maintains the the core ergonomics and, and quality and support that we're going for. What are some of the features of the of the new M4, which is arriving uh, in October, right? Correct. Um, so the, we've actually, the, the M4 is, it's available for, for pre-order now, but the, the chair is actually arriving in the middle of October. It's, it, it maintains the dynamic variable lumbar, which is really our signature feature uh, across Mavix and across next year, the, the office furniture brand. And, it, you know, it's hard to overstate how important that dynamic variable lumbar is because it provides a lot of support, but it's also flexible. So it meets the user where the user wants to be met and then moves with you. So it creates motion, provides support, and is flexible to fit a wide variety of people. Um, another key element of our chairs is that they're mesh. So the M4, while it has a foam seat, maintains mesh in the back. Um, and then also in the headrest. It's actually our only Mavix chair that is mesh into the headrest uh, as opposed to fabric in the headrest. So you're getting that complete kind of molding process that the mesh can provide. Having said that, the tension of the mesh and making it so that it really provides the right level of support is kind of the magic to the way we make our chairs. Um, so those are two of the key elements that, that it shares with some of the other models in one. And in this uh, 
environment today where a lot of people are still working from home. I, I suppose people would, might want to choose in, in the that environment. Okay, do I go with an X chair? Do I go with the, one of the new Mavix chairs? What, what would you tell them? You know, if you're a gamer, I would go with Mavix. Um, you can absolutely use Mavix chairs for work as well. So there are gamers who are also using their chair for work. Uh, but the chairs really are specifically designed to be cooler and to support gaming in terms of the, the angles of the mechanisms and the way the chairs are set up so that when you're gaming, which tends to be a little bit more reclined than typical workday work, uh, the chairs are optimally designed for that activity. Having said that, we get lots of gamers who buy X chairs and use them for gaming and vice versa. So there is there is crossover, but there are there are subtleties to the way that, that we've done the design that make them more appropriate for specific activities. And as I said, gamers tend to build up heat. It's a pretty intense uh, activity, and so the chairs are designed to stay cool and keep you cool while you're doing it. But in the event people do need more heat, you've got that covered too with another new product. Tell me about it. So we have uh, a product called Elamax which is where it's an, it's an independent um, line that we've created. And LMAX stands for, you know, think about it, maximal element support. LMAX creates either cooling or heat along with massage. And you can put it into either a Mavix or an X-Chair. Both, both brands accept it. It's an add-on into the DDL. And then, as I say, you can choose between heating and cooling, depending on what you need. Um, and then also run massage independently or at the same time. And does that need to be plugged in? I mean, it has to be powered somehow. It, you have to plug it in to charge it, um, but you can plug it in either to the wall or to the USB on your computer. So it's very flexible, right? The chair can go with you. But once it's fully charged, um, depending on the element that you're using, it will give you anywhere from eight to 20 hours of battery life. So the heating element, it tends to use the most battery, but if you're running really the massage and the cooling, which is fan driven, you can, you can run it for a pretty, pretty charge. How quiet is, is it in, when it's operating? Because that can Great be question. a key thing with people who are uh, online conferencing or even gamers don't want the background sound. You know, I should be sitting in it right now because then you'll be able to tell that you can't hear it. Um, it's quite quiet. Both the massage, which is, is a vibrating massage, which makes a, a, a low background sound, but not one that, you know, you can be in a meeting with someone face to face and it's not going to be bothersome. Um, and then the cooling, the fans in the cooling is, is almost silent. You don't hear it. Don't hear that. What's the pricing? So Matrix chairs run from as I said, three ninety nine dollars up to about $1,000 for the M9. And if you add in LMAX, that adds another $129 to the price. So, um, and for people who already might have an, an X chair, they can, they can purchase the LMAX to add that capability as well, you right? Can, you, can add, you can add it. If any of our chairs that have a DDL can, can like, with the exception of the Vision chair, which is our really small X chair, um, any of the other chairs can accept the LMAX. It's for, and, and, and they absolutely really love it. Terrific. For more info, where's the best place for people to go? So for Mavix, go to Mavix.com. Um, you can also go to Future Seating and, and, and see our collection of brands. Uh, and then obviously for X chair, go to xchair.com. Terrific. Tony Maslisch, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you, Brett.